Welcome back for another conversation with playwright Jared Sproles. Listen as we discuss what's next for Unstable Connections. Will it expand? Where may it lead next? And how has the pandemic influenced the next phase of his writing? In the script, you specifically note that you're going to continue writing or you plan to continue writing scenes as the pandemic has gone on. Um, If that is still in your plan, do you know where you might kind of draw new inspiration from for those scenes? Or do you have ideas of things you'd like to include based on based on uh, recent events, current situations? Yeah, you know, I really thought that I was going to keep um, writing more stuff, which isn't to say that I haven't had ideas. Um, and maybe it was because of this specific process that we sort of read what I had so far. And I was like, mm-hmm. oh, this this captures at least a specific set of maybe the first like six-ish months of the mm-hmm. pandemic. And and I really, I I do believe like some people can write about stuff in the moment, like as it's happening. And I'm not really that type of writer. Like I need to have a bit of, time not just to see what happened but then how people reacted to that to then sort of comment on it and and again see what we missed like see what we didn't talk about from that so I think maybe I'm in that stage again where um I gotta see the you know the after after the first six months felt pretty similar to like the first nine. Now we're getting to a year. Now I feel like things are shifting in a major way. And this summer is probably going to feel very um, different. And I feel like I may be interested in our ability to forget or our wants to forget. And the fact that we shouldn't slash probably can't in a lot of ways. And Mm -hmm that may be my next um my next set of vignettes as we try and convince ourselves that the past year plus was something different than it was to help Mm -hmm. us move forward with our lives do you think that that would be like a a set that you would put at the end of the play or would you intersperse kind of those vignettes among the the scenes that are already there. I, I think I would build into keep going sort of in time, even though there's mm-hmm. not a not the clearest linear path in, the, in what I've written so far, you could shift them around. But in my mind, they still sort of exist in the same time and, and move forward um, somewhat based on the conversations. And mm-hmm. I do think that whatever happens next would have to go after. after. Um, the 10 scenes that, that I currently have. No, I completely agree. I think, um, I think that that kind of feels right. It's kind of this, uh, next phase as you, if you will, it's kind of, you know, um, the Marvel universe of audio plays you've done the first (laughs) year and now we're into the second phase. And that is the, the kind of forgetting moment, the summer after the first year. Yeah. 